In addition to receiving a remittance and status or RNS report, Home and Community Based Services or HCS and Texas Home Living Providers and Financial Management Services Agencies or FMSAs can use TexMed Connect to download claims data into a Microsoft Excel document that can help with cost reporting. In this video, we'll discuss how to convert claims data export to a workable file, highlight some of the relevant data you can use, and show how to work with the data. For guidance how to complete a claims data export in TextMed Connect, reference the LTC User Guide for TextMed Connect under the 1915C Waivers Programs Reference Materials page of the Texas Medicaid and Healthcare Partnership, or TMHP, website. Converting a Claims Data Export File to Excel The file you download will be in a comma-separated values, or CSV, text file that needs to be exported into Microsoft Excel. To do this, right-click on the file, select Open With, and then click Excel. Once the Excel document opens, you can save the file to your computer. Viewing information in the Claims Data Export. The data in the Excel format allows you to filter each column to narrow down the results you want to see. The following columns will help you when working on cost reporting. Column D, Internal Control Number, or ICN, Assigned Claim Number. Column H, Line Item Control Number, or LICN. Column L, Warrant Number consisting of the assigned number, date, and status. Column O, total paid amount, paid amount of the claim ICN. Column U, current status code, status of the claim ICN. Column AE, RNS report date. Column AH, status, status of the detailed line items. P means paid, D means denied. Column AK, billing code. Column AM, paid amount, detailed line item paid amount. Column AR, paid rate. Column AS through AV, modifiers one through four. Column BH, Explanation of Benefits, or EOB codes. We should note that in addition to the standard information found on the RNS report, you'll also see the Service Code, column BF, and Level of Need, or LON, on the Claims Data Export. The LON is the same information listed in column G, Level of Service. To learn more about the fields you see on the Claims Data Export, reference Part 2 of the RNS Reports video series on the HCS and Texas Home Living playlist on the TMHP YouTube channel. Working with information in the Claims Data Export To work with data in the Claims Data Export, you'll need to make some formatting changes to the Excel file. In the ICN column, you may see a plus symbol. To remove the plus symbol, change the cell format of the column to number. Also, if you notice that some information is cut off or not visible, you can expand the cells. One of the benefits of using the Claim Data Export is that you can isolate specific information within a column by adding filters. Click Sort and Filter and then click Filter. You can click any column header arrow to filter specific information for that column. Users can also sum up totals to help with cost reporting. For example, we can filter by the RNS report date, and then, Total the data 
in the paid amount column. Video recap. For more information on claims data export and RNS report data, you can reference the LTC User Guide for TextMed Connect under the 1915C Waivers Programs Reference Materials page of the TMHP website. And part two of the RNS Reports video series on the HCS and Texas Home Living playlist on the TMHP YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the TMHP YouTube channel. Thanks.